In order to wield the ultimate weapon, selected students became slayers and had the duty to protect the world from monsters called Savage. One of them was the student, named Hayato, who got the highest 100 compatibility score in the military school known as the Little Garden. In this school, students were taught how to fight the savages using their weapon, called the Hundred. While Hayato was on his way to the Little Garden, he dreamed again of the day while he was still a child when they were attacked by a savage. There was a girl with him that time, and when he woke up, he asked himself who could be that girl. After a while, he arrived at the Little Garden. He immediately noticed two women with Banner, who were assigned to meet him at the station. But he did not show up to them. After getting dressed, he went straight to the building where the entrance ceremony will be held. He was going to ask his fellow student, named Fritz, but Raytia recognized him immediately because he was famous in the whole school, causing other students to run towards him. When he avoided them, he was suddenly approached by another student who introduced herself as Emil, who also wanted to be friends with him. After this, he talked to Raytia and Fritz again, then Raytia apologized to him for what she had done earlier. When the entrance ceremony started, the student council president and captain of the little garden, named Claire, was introduced to them to give a welcome message. Suddenly, the two women named Noah and Lou, who came to see Hayato earlier, came to the venue. Because they were late for the entrance ceremony, Claire reprimanded them and immediately kicked them out of the little garden because they violated one of the simple rules of the school. Hayato was about to speak, but Emil preceded him, disapproving of Claire's decision on Noah and Lou. He tried to tell Emil to calm down, so Claire asked him if he agreed with Emil. He courageously said that he agreed with what Emil had said, and that Noah and Lou should not be expelled immediately. Because of his answer, Claire challenged him to a duel and if he wins, she would take back her decision on Noah and Lou. Emil immediately accepted it, so Hayato could not do anything else. After the entrance ceremony, he and Emil went to Charlotte, a school professor, to get his hundred. They didn't too expect that Charlotte would immediately know that a duel was going to happen, so Charlotte said that it was because of the computer called Liza that controlled everything in the little garden. Then she gave the hundred that Hayato would use. They also went to an area where Hayato would train with Emil. Emil taught him how to activate his hundred, and in his one attempt, he activated it immediately. Charlotte was also watching them, and said that his hundred was called the Flying Swallows. Then Emil also activated his hundred, called Arm Shroud it suddenly attacked Hayato, and he could not believe that he easily blocked it. She attacked again, and this time, Hayato used too much speed that he could not control. Emil was so happy with what he was showing in their fight that she just continued to attack. When the training was finished, Hayato immediately went to the hospital to visit his younger sister, named Karen. But since the visiting hours were about to end, he could not stay there for too long. When he went back to his room, he was surprised to see someone getting dressed in it. The girl threw through things at him until he was hit hard and lost consciousness. When he regained consciousness, he was surprised to see Emil and only then did he find out that they were roommates. The next day, he and Claire met for their duel. Before their duel began, Claire said that she would not use her full body armament. This was a trick that only a few students were able to use. At this point, Claire seemed to be saying that she would not release her full strength. When the fight started, Hayato accidentally used his full speed, causing him to go straight to Claire. Because of this, they both fell to the ground, and when Hayato got up, he accidentally touched Claire's chest. In Claire's anger at him, she repeatedly attacked him until she used the Alice Tyrion, so Emil quickly made him use an energy barrier. Their fight continued until Hayato used a technique he had learned. But Claire was able to block him and immediately retaliated. Since Hayato still was not giving up, Claire took out her buster cannon. Hayato suddenly felt something strange that Emil immediately noticed. When Claire attacked, he just dodged it and quickly rushed at Claire like he was not himself and that his eyes were strange. Claire tried to use her buster cannon again, but she was surprised that Hayato was able to use his full body armament. With Hayato's speed, Claire was forced to use her full body armament as well. She repeatedly attacked him until the barrier which was created by him was broken. Then she immediately followed it up with an attack that caused Hayato to return to normal and collapse. Emil immediately approached him, she was furious with Claire because she did not follow what she said that she would not use her full body armament. 
Sharla came there to tell Emil that what Claire said had nothing to do with the rules of the duel, so Claire still won the fight. But according to Claire, even though she won according to the rules, she could still say that she lost in this duel. Because of this, Charlotte suggested that the result would be a draw. When Hayata woke up, he realized that he was already in the hospital and Claire was in front of him. He also found out that she did not continue the expulsion of Noah and Lou. Claire wanted to know his true identity because she could not believe what he did during the duel. But Emil suddenly came, so Claire decided to leave the room. Hayato and Emil returned to their dormitory and Emil invited him to the central. When they arrived there, Hayato noticed that the students and other people were staring at them. It turned out that they had watched what he did in his duel with Claire the other day. A few moments later, Karen called him who also found out about his fight. She wanted to meet him, so she immediately went to Hayato's location. Since it was about to be lunchtime already, they decided to go to a cafeteria to eat. After a while, Claire came with Erica and Liddy and her assistant, named Chris. She offered Hayato to join the selections or the special unit under the student council. As its member, he would perform missions similar to a full-fledged slayer from the Warslarn headquarters who manages the little garden. Emil also wanted to become part of it if Hayato would join, but according to Liddy, she was not yet qualified to be a member. Emil could not accept it, so she challenged her to a duel, which Liddy immediately accepted. When she activated her hundred, Claire was surprised that it was also a dragon type. While they were both fighting, they suddenly heard the sound of siren. It turned out to be a sign that savages had been spotted on Zvi Island. In this situation, Liddy decided to stop their duel with Emil to face the savages. Before they leave, Charlotte came and proposed to Claire to take Hayato and Emil on this mission. They went to the headquarters to find out the exact location of the savages and to plan their attack. Claire suggested that she, Erica and Liddy would go first so that they could show Hayato and Emil how they would fight a savage. When their mission began, Erica went down first and aimed the eye of the first savage that they would face. Then Claire and Liddy came down too, and the three of them defeated this savage together. Since Hayato and Emil had seen the three of them fighting, they also went to the location and faced another savage. After Emil attacked it, Hayato aimed at the enemy's head. Then Emil attacked it again, and they were able to finally defeat it. Meanwhile, Claire and the other girls were fighting against another savage. After Erica bound the enemy with her chains, she was pulled by it and was thrown to Liddy who had the intention to attack the enemy. They were both severely injured after this attack. When Hayato and Emil came there to help, Claire just stopped them, and this was when she activated her full body armament. She and the savage attacked at the same time, and she noticed the decrease in her energy which was still the effect when she fought against Hayato. When the savage attacked her again, Hayato quickly saved her. They were once again attacked by the savage, and since they could not move because the air traffic control tower behind them would be destroyed, they were forced to create a barrier. After they blocked the attack, Emil also took action to fight the savage. But she was hit by the enemy, and Hayato was shocked to find out that she was actually a woman. When he saw the scar on her chest, he also remembered the name of the woman he always dreamed about, and it was Emilia. He quickly saved Emil, and was convinced that she was his friend Emilia, which Emil confirmed to him. After a few moments, he activated his intense power again, but Emilia noticed that he lost control of himself again. Because of this, Emilia decided to kiss him, causing him to come back to his senses. So when the savage attacked again, he hit the enemy with his weapon and successfully finished it off. He became so weak, so Emilia quickly took care of him. Claire could not believe what she was seeing on Emilia. Since they already knew that Emilia was a woman, she also needed to go to another room, but she was also told to continue pretending as a man. Hayato asked her to tell him what she knew since he lost some of his memory after the savage attacked them that day. Emilia started to talk about the so-called variant. She said that these were the people who were affected by the virus after being attacked by a savage, like what happened to her. And since Hayato had sucked her blood at that time, he was also infected with the virus, and he was also a variant. She added that almost all people had died after sucking the blood of someone who had already been infected with the virus, and because Hayato was lucky to survive, he got a very high hundred score. A few days later, the management that handled the singer, named Sakura, decided to continue with her cancelled concert at Zvi Island. 
Suffolk told Claire that Sakura wanted Hayato to be her bodyguard. Just a few moments after their training, Claire summoned him. In addition to the information of Sakura's request, he also learned about the four other savages that came to the world with the three savages they fought the other day. They learned that others were shut down before landfall, but according to Erika, they only saw one dead, so there was a possibility that the three were still alive. Hayato did not hesitate to accept the mission, but he asked for one favor. He knew that Karen was a fan of Sakura, so he requested a concert ticket for his sister. He went to see his sister, and Karen was very happy after he told her this. The day of Sakura's arrival at Zvi Island had arrived, and Hayato was with Liddy to meet her, because she would take them to the hotel where she would stay. After they entered the hotel room, it was here that Sakura proposed to Hayato for a wedding. It turned out that Sakura saw his fight with the savage, so she became interested in him. Sakura went through her thoughts for her and Hayato and told him about it. But Hayato made a way to make her stop and he succeeded in it. A few hours later, he accompanied her to a party. And then they also went to the concert venue. It was only here that he found out that Sakura also had a hundred and it was called a fairy fairy tale. Charlotte was also there to assist Sakura because she would use the hundred during the concert. In the evening, not far from the Zvi Island, there was a group and was planning to do something once the concert was over. They were known as Kroven, Nakri, and Nesat, who were also variants. The next day, Claire called Hayato to inform him of the news from headquarters about the loss of the variable stone at the concert venue. Sakura planned to use it in her presentation, and it was stolen at the height of the savage's attack. Since there was still a possibility that the thief would return again, they reminded him to be careful and protect Sakura. After this, Hayato met up with Emilia, who had came there on purpose to see him. Then they went to the mall, so that he could change his clothes. When they got to the square, Emilia thought of getting them something to drink. Claire suddenly called to inform him that Sakura was missing in her room. Because of this, he was assigned to look for her, but after that conversation, someone suddenly grabbed his cell phone and it turned out to be Sakura. She just wanted to meet him secretly, and asked him to take her to a place where she wanted to go. He immediately thought of Amelia, and because he knew it would be a problem if Sakura saw his friend, he agreed to go with Sakura and decided to just text Amelia. After a few minutes of driving, they arrived at a beautiful place, and it was in the Zvi Grand Canyon. She wanted to thank Hayato for saving the whole island, she told him that the place was special because she had memories there with her mother. Then she sang a song which Hayato said that her sister also sing. Sakura was surprised because her mother wrote the song, and she would not let other people hear it. But when she found out the name of Hayato's sister, she remembered that they had met before on the same day that their place was attacked by savages. It turned out that she let Hayato and Karen hear the song, which was the reason why Karen knew how to sing it. Then she also started to tell the story of what happened in her life after that day. After her father took her, she became sick, and Hayato immediately thought that she was like Karen. Until she remembered that she was injected with a vaccine created from savage fluids. Although she recovered from her illness, many children died because of this vaccine. On the orders of Vitaly, the director of the laboratory, the children who survived this vaccine continued to be injected with this fluid because Vitaly's goal was to turn a normal person into a slayer. Because of this, other children sometimes could not control themselves, but whenever she sings, they also calm down. But as time passed by, the other children would die one by one, then she was the only one left and was saved by Charlotte. After she told the story, Hayato also mentioned that he was also a variant like her. Sakura was happy after hearing this, because they both have a lot in common. Since it was getting late, they decided to go back to the hotel. While they were on their way, someone suddenly attacked their vehicle. They found out that this was done by a savage who attacked again and turned the vehicle that they were riding upside down. The passengers quickly got out of the bus and Hayato fought the savage. But he was not wearing his variable suit, so he was having a hard time fighting the enemy. Then Sakura decided to help him to act as a defense. Hayato immediately attacked the savage and was able to defeat it. But after a while, another savage came there. Sakura tried to parry its attack, but she could not handle it. That was the moment when Fritz, Raytia, and Emilia came to help them. The three of them worked together to attack the savage, but when Emilia was about to finish it, her attack was blocked, and they noticed that this savage was regenerating. 
It turned out to be a regenerator type savage, so Amelia told Fritz and Raytia to support her so she could cut off its hands, and Hayato was assigned to kill it. Amelia successfully cut off its hands, but it regenerated so quickly that Hayato failed to defeat it. The enemy was about to attack them when Sakura suddenly screamed, and Hayato was surprised that the savage responded to her voice. When Hayato rushed again, Kroven suddenly came there to attack him. The savage attacked the civilians, but Nakri, who was also Kroven's companion, intercepted it. Then Nesat also took action to kill the savage. She attacked it repeatedly, and since Raytia was worried about the savage fluids that were pouring from the enemy, she tried to stop her, but Nakri quickly took action and attacked Raytia. Because of this, Fritz and Emilia were forced to fight, while Hayato was once again attacked by Kroven. Hayato remembered what Claire said about the one who took the variable stone, and he had a hunch that this group was the culprit. After a while, he realized that his opponent was also a variant. When Emilia noticed that Hayato was struggling in his fight, she immediately attacked Kroven. Kroven noticed the change in Emilia's weapon, so he thought that it was similar to Nessat's. After Nessat got the two savage cores, they found out that it was what Kroven's group wanted to acquire. They also found out that they were Vitali's men and they immediately left the area. When they talked to Claire, she mentioned to them that the ones they fought were called hunters. They were also slayers, but a part of illegal organizations. When Emilia asked why they were taking the Savage Corps, Charlotte answered that it was because of its molecular structure which was almost the same as the Variable Stone. That means that the Savage Corps had the same worth as the Variable Stone. A few days later, Sakura's much-awaited concert came and the people enjoyed it. Before the end of the concert, Sakura decided to sing the song that her mother had created for her. After hearing this, Karen also found out that Sakura was the child that they met before. One day, Claire took them to a beach resort to relax after the mission at Sakura's concert. But while they were enjoying themselves, a helicopter arrived with a crest of Warslorn. The CEO of Warslorn and Claire's brother, named Jutter, came out from it. He said that he wanted to see the future slayers of Warslorn, especially Hayato. Because he was said to be the rising star of the little garden and possessed the divine blood, which Hayato failed to hear clearly. He also knew about Emilia's true personality, but he just pretended to get along on Emilia's disguise. Then he took Claire to the helicopter to take her back to the little garden. When they all got back to school, they received a message from Claire and told them to go to the student council office. She also summoned Fritz and Raytia, and they talked about the anti-savage cleanup operation. That was the moment when Fritz and Raytia found out that they were officially members of the selections, just like Hayato and Emilia, and this made Raytia very happy. After they came out from the office, Judder talked to Hayato and invited him to come along. He said that they would go to the room where the power source of the little garden was located. Based on Hayato's knowledge of the power source of the little garden, it was the nuclear fusion reactor, but according to Judder, it was only based on what was written on the paper. When they got to the room that Judder was referring to, he saw a glowing capsule with a woman inside it. It turned out to be Liza, whom Charlotte mentioned to him before. He also found out that she was Judder and Claire's sister, and the first Slayer and Variant. Claire suddenly came there who was furious on Judder for showing Liza to other people. So Judder told her about Hayato's divine blood, and it was possible that it could help wake up Liza. Then he asked Hayato to hold the capsule and try to wake her up. Just a few moments after Hayato touched it, the capsule started to react, but Liza had not woken up yet. Judder had also mentioned the person who wanted to get Liza, and his name was Vitaly. He intended to catch him, so he needed to talk to his men or the hunters. After they got out of there, Claire told Hayato not to tell anyone about what he saw. The day had come for the start of the anti-savage cleanup operation. While they were on the trip, Claire showed the map where the operation would take place, and it was on the mountain near Tian Quan City. When they arrived at the place, there was a woman who suddenly hugged Emilia. It turned out to be Claudia from Gutenberg, who addressed Emilia as princess. It did not take long for Hayato to learn that Emilia was actually a princess of Gutenberg. Claudia said that she wanted for her and Emilia to return to their kingdom together if their mission was over. But Emilia had no plans to return there because she preferred to be with Hayato. Claudia could not believe it, so she challenged Hayato to a duel, and the one who would win in the fight would get Emilia. Their duel was held at a nearby dojo, and they would only use normal weapons. 
When the fight started, Claudia repeatedly attacked, but she could not hit Hayato. Until Hayato was able to cut her weapon, causing her to leave after her defeat. In the evening, Hayato and Emilia decided to go for a walk first. Little did they know that they crossed their path with Croven, who also had a mission in this area. The next day, they began their mission to denounce the savages. They were divided into different groups, and Hayato was with Amelia, Claire, Erica, and Claudia in the team. When the operation began, they quickly defeated the savages that they encountered. They had no idea that the three hunters were just watching them. In the evening, their group split up on the schedule in guarding their camp. Amelia would have liked Hayato to be with her in the vigil, but Claire chose Erica to be her partner. After a few hours, Hayato and others had their turn to watch around the camp, so Amelia and Erica could rest. Since Claudia noticed that Claire seemed to like Hayato, she came up with a plan to get the two together. She mentioned that she spotted something that looked like the shadow of a savage in the distance, and told Claire and Hayato to look at it, while she watched Amelia and Erica. Through this, the two would become closer to each other, and she would have the opportunity to convince Amelia to go back to their kingdom. When they got to the place that Claudia pointed out, they immediately saw the savage and quickly defeated it. Amelia could not sleep, so she went out of the tent and found out that Hayato and Claire were together. That was the moment when Claudia took the opportunity to show Amelia that Hayato could not be trusted. But no matter what she said, she still could not convince Amelia to go back to Gutenberg. Meanwhile, when the two were at the lake, they talked about Liza while Claire was cleaning her body. She started to tell everything about how Liza became a variant and why she had not been woken up from sleep yet. Liza became a variant because of what was done to her by their mother, named Linnies. They wanted to use Liza in the war, and as they expected, she acquired a unique talent as a slayer. And her current condition was the result after she suddenly released her forbidden power to save Claire from a savage, and since that day she had not woken up again. But nevertheless, she became the power source of the little garden, and Claire knew that she was his older brother's trump card. So Claire chose to be the captain of the little garden, so she could monitor his older brother's actions, because she did not want him to use their sister as a tool in any case. As they were going back, Hayato received a call from Zayat of Squad D, to inform them that they were attacked by three hunters. After a few moments, they saw the signal flare from Fritz Group's location. In that situation, Claire instructed him to go back to their group members, and said that she was going to see Fritz Group's condition. It turned out that they were currently being attacked by three hunters, and because of the strength of the enemies, all of them were beaten up including Liddy. When Crovan was about to kill Liddy, Claire suddenly came and attacked the opponents. She told them to surrender, and if they gave information about Vitaly, she would ensure their safety. But they did not listen to her, and Nakri tried to attack, but she could not do anything against the power of Claire's full-body armament. Suddenly, the rain started to pour, and Crovan said that the luck was still on their side. Nessat imitated Nakri's weapon and they attacked together, but they aimed at Claire's cannons. Then Crovan quickly got close to Claire and she could no longer avoid him. When he was about to kill Claire, Erika suddenly attacked him and Hayato came with the others to stop Nakri and Nessat. But when Crovan freed himself from Erika, Nakri and Nessat got away too. Emilia fought against Nakri until she managed to put her to sleep by her attack. Then she quickly rushed to Nessat to destroy her weapon. When she was about to try to imitate her weapon, Emilia did not allow her. As Crovan continued to attack Hayato, Hayato suddenly saw Crovan's past. He saw the hardships they suffered as slaves until they were able to escape and this was when they met the tally. Crovan had a dream that's why he wanted to win, but Hayato also had his own too, and this was the reason why he was able to activate his full body armament. He repeatedly attacked Crovan until he knocked him down. After a while, a dragonfly savage suddenly appeared to them. Crovan returned the hundreds that they got to Claire, but in return, he wanted them to take the dragonfly savage's core. When he attacked it, it turned out that the savage was equipped with a wide area barrier. No matter how he attacked it, he could not break its barrier until the enemy retaliated. Hayato quickly caught him, and Crovan begged him to help them defeat the dragonfly savage. To do this, Erika thought that they might be able to break the barrier if all the slayers attacked at the same time. Charlotte suddenly spoke to them and said that according to Liza's calculation, there was a high possibility that they would break it. 
After hearing the good news, Claire talked to all the slayers to prepare for the attack. At her signal, they attacked together until they successfully broke the barrier. Then Hayato immediately rushed at the enemy, and with just one attack, he was able to immediately defeat the dragonfly savage. When he fell into the lake, Amelia quickly took action to help him. After their mission, Claire also brought the three hunters to the little garden at Judah's command. Like Erica, she was also worried about what her older brother was planning. On the other hand, Vitaly also found out that Crovin and the others would never come back to her. However, she had something ready for her next plan. She began by looking for a slayer who could help her accomplish this, and the one she chose was Wendy. Meanwhile, Amelia watched over Hayato, who was still unconscious. Suddenly, Karen came in the room with Sakura, and after a few moments, Hayato regained his consciousness. When he felt better, they immediately met with Claire. They started discussing the current situation of the three hunters. Due to the information provided by them, the Warslarn headquarters had tracked down Vitaly's laboratory, but Vitaly was no longer there. From this information, it was possible that she was just hanging around somewhere, so Claire had also asked for help from other slayers in different parts of the country for the security of the upcoming Gardens Festa. That was the moment that Hayato found out that there was going to be a school festival, and Sakura was going to perform there. And since the Gardens Festa was open to the public, they had also ordered additional automatic cleaning robots. After a few hours, the other slayers also came, and Claudia was also there who immediately approached Emilia. Wendy was also present, who became close to Ray Tia and Fritz because of their association in the previous mission. In the afternoon, Hayato visited Karen at the hospital and saw Sakura there. He was surprised because she was not heading to Karen's room. When he opened the door where she entered, he was surprised to see Karen and Charlotte in the room as well. It turned out that Karen was practicing to sing a song because she would also be singing at Sakura's concert. Hayato was worried about her condition, so she showed the hundred given by Charlotte with the name, Divine Card. With this hundred, Karen would be able to jump and fly to keep up with Sakura's performance. The next day, the Gardens Festa started, and the Slayers were also on alert. Before their concert started, Hayato visited Karen at the backstage. Just a few moments later, Jir also came to give a message to Sakura and Karen. When the concert started, Wendy replaced the guard at the entrance. Since she was being controlled by Vitaly, she was able to enter the venue easily. She also accompanied Wendy inside of a building, and that was when he made her sleep. So while the others were enjoying and watching the concert, they did not know that Vitaly was already inside the school. When she threw away her cigarette, it was immediately approached by an automatic cleaning robot, and it seemed that something strange had happened to it. It took a while for Claire to find out what happened to Wendy. While Erica and Raytia were guarding outside, they were alerted when they saw the robot that looked like a bee. They tried to find out who was controlling it, and since no one answered, Erica decided to catch it. But when she caught it, it suddenly exploded. Then they saw another one that was about to blow up the electrical relay, luckily, Raytia quickly stopped it. Then they felt a series of explosions that caused power outages in various buildings. Chris found out that these robots were targeting the relays. Noah and Lou informed Claire of what they discovered, that something turned automatic cleaning robots into bees. Because of this, Claire immediately ordered to shut down all the cleaning robots. Then they also learned from Erica that the bees had variable stones. It was here that Claire thought of the possibility that Vitaly was the perpetrator, which Charlotte agreed to. In this situation, Claire decided to stop the Gardens Festa to evacuate the civilians. While Erica continued fighting the bees, the other slayers started the evacuation of civilians. After a while, Claudia noticed an aircraft approaching them, then it crashed into the little garden. Many savages came out of it, and Claudia immediately noticed that they had no cores. When Charlotte saw them, she called them as replicants. This was the result of Vitaly's continuous collection of variable stones and savage cores. Claire immediately assigned Liddy and Erica to lead the attack on the replicants and on the bees. When Hayato and Emilia got there, they once again detected a new aircraft approaching them. They tried to shoot it down, but it still did not explode until it fell through the barrier. There were many replicants came out from it, and there was a giant replicant with them. Due to the constant decrease in the strength of the barrier from the attacks of the replicants, Claire decided to go out and face the enemies. 
But Chris immediately objected to her decision because she needed to serve as the commander of the slayers who were fighting outside. So Hayato told her that they were the ones who would come out of the barrier to face the replicants. At the same time, he promised her that he would do everything to save the little garden. Vitaly went to the room where Crovan and his companions were staying to ask them to help in her attack on the little garden. Crovan did not want to follow her orders because of his promise before that they would not hurt innocent people. Because of this, she was forced to use a device that emit a sound that hurts their ears very much. Just a few moments later, Maimai came there and fought Vitaly. Although she knocked her down, she did not expect that Vitaly would attack her from behind. After this, Crovan's group could not do anything else but to join with Vitaly. When they passed Sector 9, Claire immediately thought that they were going to Sector 11 where Liza was located. Judas suddenly called to inform her that he was going to take care of Vitaly. Nakri fell into a trap in one of the doors, causing her to immediately fall. Crovan and Nessat were worried and did not want to continue, so Vitaly used her device again. Maimai suddenly came there, then she and Vitaly exchanged shots until she was hit in the thigh. Because of this, Vitaly took the opportunity to run. When she arrived at Sector 11, she was surprised when Judah appeared in front of her. It turned out that they used to be lovers, and she planned to take revenge on him by destroying Liza because he only used her. As Hayato and Amelia continued to fight the replicants, the giant replicant emit a sound that only slayers were affected by it. Because of this, all slayers could not act properly in their fights. When Vitaly fired at Liza's capsule, she was surprised that it did not even break. She tried to shot multiple times until she noticed that Liza was awake. Juner said that this was because Liza reacted to Sakura's songs. He also admitted that he used Vitaly. In Vitaly's anger, she shot at him, but Liza blocked it. It was here that he took the opportunity to shoot Vitaly, and this caused her death. As he was about to bring Liza back to the capsule, Liza said that she still had something to do. She went to Sakura and Karen to tell them to sing. Then she also healed Karen's leg so that she could stand again. When she disappeared, Sakura and Karen immediately followed what Liza said. Their voice cancelled the sound that the replicants were making, and through this, they made the slayers move normally again. Hayato got up and decided to use his full body armament. When he attacked the enemy, he was able to knock down the giant replicant, but his energy was drained. Everyone thought that the replicant was completely defeated, but after a few moments it rose again. When it attacked, Crovan's group suddenly came to block the enemy. The replicant attacked them again, and Crovan fought it alone until he was electrocuted. In Nessat's desire to save Crovan, she copied the replicant and immediately defeated it. But she had lost control of her energy, and according to Charlotte, if it continued, it could possibly cause a very powerful explosion. While Hayato was still unconscious, Liza talked to him to wake him up. He begged him to save the little garden. So before Claire could do what she was planning, Hayato was able to stop her. Hayato decided that he would face Nessat and immediately activated his full body armament. He tried to talk to her, but because of her anger towards the slayers, she attacked him. When she attacked again, Amelia suddenly came there to block it. It was only a few moments when they noticed that Nessat's body was about to give in, so Hayato quickly attacked her. That was the moment when Nessat came back to her senses and Hayato finally saved her. While Claire was watching them, she suddenly heard Liza's voice who was thanking her for protecting the little garden. At night while Hayato and Amelia were together, Liddy and the others caught them. Among them was Claudia, who was furious at Hayato and repeatedly mentioned Princess Amelia. Because of this, Amelia was forced to admit to everyone that she was a girl and the princess of Gutenberg Kingdom. This is the end of the last episode of The Hundred. I hope you like it and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss newly uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.